up everybody welcome back to my channel kicks for fresh now if you're new here you can call me k fresh and in today's video i'm gonna give you a detailed review and on feed look as well as a how to style featuring the nike and concept collab on that nike air max one in that mellow colorway but before we get off into the logistics of this video please make sure to hit that subscribe button because on my channel we do all things sneakers and fresh fits so if that's something you're interested in what are you waiting for go ahead and click that subscribe button now if this is a video that you rocking with and you want to see more please make sure to click that thumbs up hit that notification bell and comment down below k fresh girl this 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 whole video was a vibe all right so now that we got that all out of the way let's go ahead and get into the review all right, first and foremost, we do have concepts written on the side and the Nike swoosh in a colored pattern or the flower pattern, that flower power. And then you do have concepts on the other side of the box. Now, before I show you the top of the box, I do want to let you all know for the people that are viewing this and not really for sure what concepts is, it is a sneaker boutique. They have done countless collaborations with the nike brand now on the top of the box you do have nike in a variety of different patterns and i'll try to get into it as you actually see the details of the shoe and then this is officially that nike air max 1 sp the color code is olive green multi-color sale i did get a men's nine which is also a ten and a half women and i can't even tell you how much this pair really meant to me unfortunately your girl had to cop for the resale, I did choose StockX, honestly, because it was the cheapest. So after tax, I did pay about 220 bucks, but I do believe this sneaker did retail for 170. Now, when you pop open the box, you do get the tissue paper with some more of that flower power swoosh in the concepts branding. Now, I am not a history buff when it comes to sneakers. I do know that this was inspired by the Woodstock concert that happened around the 60s or the 70s. Y'all, I might even be getting the decades mixed up. But honestly, I think they did a phenomenal job of making sure that the details really hit differently even before you get into the actual sneaker. So when we pop open, the tissue paper on both ends you do get a second layer of tissue paper so starting with the outer sole of the sneaker it is brown which is a nice color it is reminiscent of the mud that everybody was supposedly trampling around in at Woodstock then when you get to the outer portion of the sneaker you do see some splickle splackle on the midsole right here it is really prevalent right here and then you obviously see it going down on the sneaker but that is also reminiscent of the mud that everybody was trampling in and it pops just right on that cell you do have an exposed air unit right here that is brown on the inside now obviously when you look at this shoe you get a lot of different materials a lot of different details you do have the army green canvas material hence why i have on a army green jacket then you do have the pan african flag which is um in those uh signature colors you do have some wash denim that i guess everybody was wearing back in the day i still wear this type of wash denim but i really love what they did with this when you go to the back tab you do have a black bandana material as well as the nike swoosh in the air and then there's a subtle hit right here so you actually see the word concepts around the heel of the shoe in a design i thought that that was nice and subtle when you go to the inner portion of the sneaker that is where you see the pattern swoosh again i love 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 that you also do get some corduroy in a purple color up here at the eyelets of the sneaker and then let's go ahead and take a top down look so you do get these bordeaux laces as well as two other laces one is in this uh velvet material then you do have the white laces that is also just a regular lace similar to what you already have in the sneaker then you do see this cow print vibe right around the sneaker which i think is nice and actually if you look at the other sneaker it does have a different cow vibe then you have some more denim on the toe box of the sneaker and you have the moon a star and a slash and 
I have no idea what that means, but I guess it has something to do with Woodstock. But all in all, I think it's a very nice touch. And last but not least is the tongue. So as you can see, you do have the Nike swoosh in the Concepts co-branding, and then you do have the velvet on the tongue. And so if you actually took out the stock laces and put these in, you will get a phenomenal, phenomenal detail when it comes to this sneaker. Now, before we get to the insoles, another signature detail of this sneaker is actually the guitar pick that is hanging off of the sneaker as a hang tag. You got Nike Air and then Concepts on the co-branding. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take the insoles out because it is a really nice design. I did a little bit of research, but I wasn't able to do too, too much research. So I have really no idea the significance of this. If you are interested in learning the full history, I suggest that you go over to Sneaker Fetish's page because he will give you the ruta to the tuta when it comes to the details. So as you can see on the insoles, you do have a nice design. If you know what the design is about, please let me know in the comment section. You do have the Concepts branding up here on it. And then obviously you do have, I believe this is probably some kind of Nike situation. I don't know, y'all. And then it also does say right here, this shoe contains real fur. The fur type is dye adult bovine fur and the fur origin is Brazil. All right, so now that I've given you all this detailed review of this sneaker, let's go ahead and get into the on feet portion of this video, right? Now. All right, y'all, so how were you all feeling the on feet? I actually left the stock laces in. I know a lot of people have been putting the suede laces in, and I know that those are gonna be some lint catchers, and I'm just not ready to move over to those laces, but when I do, y'all will know. So to cap off the video, I do have two outfits for the how to style. So as you can see from the split screen, the first outfit I do have on that signature green army jacket. It's not camo, but it is green, similar to what is on the side panels of the sneaker. I did throw on a chunky gold chain and just a white tee underneath it. It does have some patches on the jacket that I put on this jacket like so long ago. And then I do have on some dark caramel joggers. I got these from Walmart for like 15 bucks. But moving along to the second outfit in the how to style, I do have on a crew neck and it is in that Bordeaux. It has some gold writing on it, which I think is nice. I do have on on a white tank top just to break up the color from the jean to the crew neck and I do have on some skinny fit distressed jeans but now that you've seen both of the outfits please let me know down in the comment section which outfit was your favorite all right y'all so that is all I have for you all today if you like this video and you want to see more once again please make sure to subscribe hit that thumbs up turn on that notification bell and comment down below as always I love 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 to engage with you all so all in all happy Air Max month and happy 35th anniversary to the Air Max one I cannot be more proud of concepts and what they accomplished once again with with the Nike brand. But anyway, I am your girl K Fresh. And until next time, you already know what to do. Stay fresh.